All right, Tony Kegger doing some WWE Fast Lane predictions. Got the card right here in front of me. There's going to be seven matches. That's what it says. Uh, one of these matches I didn't know was official, but I guess it is. Let's start with the bottom. Um, Seth Rollins, Kane, Big Show versus Ziggler, Ryback, Aaron Rowan. I didn't know that was an official match. I guess it is. Um, this is what this um, website says is official from the Sporting News, and that's a, that's a real legit website. So, um, I mean, I think my prediction here is that Ziggler, and Ryback, and Rowan are going to win when um, Randy Orton makes his return and you know interferes in the match. Seems like what they're going to do. Kind of a waste of a match for Rollins. I mean, he said, like, besides the, the, sorry, besides like um, Lesnar, Rollins is probably their biggest heel. So, feels like a waste of a match for Rollins. He could be something better, but they are going to do Rollins versus Orton. They need, need a, him in a match so they can, like, get that storyline going. Um, next match, this is going to be interesting Goldust versus Stardust. And I'm expecting this to be the first of two Goldust matches. Um,. First they'll do Ghost for Stardust, I think, and then I think um, they're going to do Ghost for Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania. And that, that's not official or anything. There's no report about that. That's um, what I'm guessing. I mean, that's what, what I think they have to do. So this match should be good. Um, maybe, not, maybe not the best match, but for storyline purposes, it might be um, interesting. Then we got the Usos versus Tyson Kidd and Zaro. Um, oh, my, my prediction for the other match. Go for the Stardust. Um, uh, I'll say Goldust. I don't know if that's going to happen, but why not Goldust? Because I mean, I'll, I'll lead to like Stardust, like cutting Cody Rhodes again. I don't know. Okay, so next match the Usos versus Tyson Kidd and Zara for the Tay Team Championship. Uh, you know, the way to look at, not that I'm not saying Tyson Kidd and Zero can't win, but because it's the pay-per-view right for WrestleMania, I feel like the Usos may be more likely to go into WrestleMania as the champs. So I'll just say the Usos. Um, Nikki Bell versus Paige. Uh, I don't really know. I'll just play it safe. Um, go with Nikki Bell to retain. That's probably more likely than a title change. But who knows? So we'll say Nikki Bella. Uh, Bad News Bears versus Ambrose. Again, I'm gonna take the easy way and just go Bad News Bears. Um, Cesaro versus not Cesaro, Cena versus Rusev. Interesting match here. But the uh, problem is, I think it's too predictable. I think. I think they're not gonna. Have, they're gonna have no finish. Like, I mean, they're gonna have a finish, but it's not gonna end in a pinfall or submission. So I'm going to say that John Cena wins by disqualification. That's my prediction. Because I don't, I don't know, which sucks. Because like, I, you know, W doesn't want doesn't want Rusev to pin Cena. They don't probably don't want Cena to pin Rusev. So they're just going to do stupid like double count or like disqualification, which I think is dumb. But I don't know what. So they're they could probably have a rematch at WrestleMania. So this could be like a throwaway match, really. I'll watch it, but um, I'm not expecting a clean finish. And also, we got Sting and Triple H Sting, which is gonna be interesting. A friend at work said like, "Be nice to have like Triple H pedigree Sting." I think that could happen. So we'll see what happens. I'm I'm really excited about that segment. I want to see what what happens. And then the final match, um, Roman Reigns versus Daniel Bryan. My prediction for that, um, I go with Roman Reigns to win. And so we're gonna see a match. I think Lesnar versus Brian, Lesnar versus um, Roman Reigns at um, WrestleMania. And I'm looking forward to seeing um, can Brian have a good match out of Roman Reigns? And I think he can. And I'm hoping that um, people are gonna say like, yeah, it's a good match because of Brian. But I hope people give some credit to Roman Reigns too because he's got he's been like unfairly criticized. And I hope so. So this will be the best match possible for him. And I think they're gonna have a good match because that match against, the match he had against Orton. At SummerSlam, was like you know one of the best matches in the card. Other than that, you know 
may not have been better than Cena versus Lesnar, may not have been better than Ambrose versus Rollins, but it was better than half the card, I think. And, you know, Orton is not the greatest wrestler in the world. So I think this is going to easily be the best match at night. And it's going to be better than people are expecting, I think. Actually, Bill for this match has been really good. I'm really excited to see who wins. I mean, actually, one of the most like unpredictable uh, matches in a while. I'm going to guess Roman Reigns win, but maybe they're going to have Brian win. Maybe they're going to have a double countout. Maybe, um, you know, you know what they're going to do. So it's kind of cool. And are both guys faces in the match? You know, is Roman Reigns a heel? Is Roman Reigns going to turn heel? So many different possibilities for this match. That's what's so good about it. And I'm looking forward to it. So that's it. Those are my predictions. And maybe I'll do a review. Maybe I won't. But anyway, enjoy Fastlane tomorrow night. Or today, depending on when I post this.